Four steps to any control point. Number one, find the control point. Number two, place the ball in the control point. Step three, move around. Move, move, move around. And then step four, throw and catch in the control point. Step four, throw and catch in the control point. I have to say that the reason that you, Rich, are doing this is so that you can explain point to point. Yo, Andy, what's up? Uh, Andrew Wilson showed me point to point, and basically what point to point is, is you take a whole bunch of points on your body, and you connect the dots. Now, the one thing you'll notice is I've been using a reflective ball. That's on purpose. Sun's over there. You can see it, and it's awfully bright. So if I was to use a clear acrylic right now, it would burn my arm, because I'm trying to keep it in one spot. So try to use a ball that's not going to kill you. There's four steps to any control point. The first being find it. The second B, snarfies. Second B. First step is finding it. The second step is to place it there. The third step is to move with it in the spot. And then the fourth is to throw it to that spot. Now I'm using a precise roll, snarfies, or a precise throw and catch, which is otherwise known as a roll, to get it there. Now, this is probably a control point that most people learn first. Uh, it's called the cradle. There's a lot of different versions of the cradle. There's the two finger cradle, Amber V, Vulcan cradle, way outside, classic three finger cradle, and then the, I've never really seen anybody do three finger cradle. Four steps to every control point. First step, find the control point. Step two. Place the ball in the control point. Step three, move around. Step four, throw and catch in the control point. And remember, a roll is a precise throw with a precise catch at the end. And that would be a precise drop.